and then and your rain so or dominia so much a free source for him in chain ah it to me crown and muscle now did you hear you know to me did you want now i don't know ben no abc neno and cause around kaya who are yesu christo demo amen this evening also may the peace and grace that proceeds from the living god that is able to uh, grace his children and give us grace that has kept us uh, from the beginning till now that is able to keep us forever should continue to be upon us as human as we are many a time we tend to think that there are certain things or lifestyle that we cannot lead due to one reason or the other see akwe ni pada seni todu bwono ma yani e jwene se abrabo pebi wono ma yenti mi e mo ena ma jwene ba kubia yesusu se ya fenti but God expect of us that we will be people who will be different in all lives uh, so as to be like him and be in his image. Amen. And so I didn't go for a quite say, yeah, Ben Co for a bed and so I will be a better to me at a so no not for yet to me I want it to be a mo. By so doing we become peculiar to God. Now see yes, I didn't be a soon quam ready. So that he will be able to bring out everything that he has earmarked for you and I to, you know, uh, 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 the manifestation of mankind. Amen. Amen. The Lord did not create any man for nothing. He created everyone with a purpose. So the Lord has a purpose for your life. No matter how far or how small your life might be today. God has a purpose for you. Amen. God has a purpose for me. And we can only achieve this purpose in God when we set ourselves aside for God's usage. Amen. The Lord cannot use anybody anyhow. But he uses people who are ever ready to give their lives to him. Whether you are educated or not, once you avail it yourself, once you open up unto him, once you take a son for the Lord, once you become a peculiar person unto him, Jesus Christ will use you. And that is what God is expected of you and I. That will be peculiar unto him. Who will be so different unto him. So that he will be able to bring out whatsoever he has purpose in our lives Amen. so as to give glory unto his name praise the lord hallelujah and therefore this week we want to you know uh uh, 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 share on the theme be a peculiar person unto God. Anything be a peculiar person unto God. Be a peculiar person. So this evening we are sharing be a peculiar person. You are not somebody that nothing good could come. Uh, I mean nothing good will not be able to come from you. God created every one of us. Once you are a human being coming from the Lord created by the lord there is something good deposited in you amen yeah any part that's any area in your corner boy yeah near free now go punch and buy in quality and are the probably one more dear dear you never accepted that you are written off i mean you are you you've come to an end it's all and you to move that's how the abrabon of a sobia news never accepted that you cannot do anything good and you to move so you want me to be papa be other god has a purpose for you and running your couple but i am it all behoves on you now you know that you so that you see Set yourself as a peculiar person to God. So, but you know any person who come here, we are reading from Exodus chapter nineteen, verse one to six. See, don't cross your chemo back up Exodus chapter nineteen, verse one to six. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai, for they were departed from Rephidim and were come to the desert of Sinai. 
and had pitched in the wilderness. And there Israel came before the mount. And Moses went up unto God. And the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have, ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, and keep my command and co my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Da Israel for see mu free misu masa seso no na boso mi atoso mi an san so pepepe na oduru sina an sereso na otu free refidem no oba sina an sereso be kire in sraban sereso no so na Israel kire in sraban be pon no enim ho na Moses furu ko nyankopon nchen na Awurde free be pon no so fre no se se de ka kire Jacob fie na ka kire Israel fo no ni Mwara mwa hunu diya mi yo mi zi mwa no. Nese diya mi soa mo akwadi ya intaba ansuwa. Na mede mo aba menchen yi. Na afe se mube tiye. Mene na mwe di ma pa msoa. Eni ya mwa ye me amudiye efri amanamane. Amen yi na mwa. Na mensa na mina asasi yi na wame. Insi ya no. Na mwa diye. Mwa ye me asofwa. Ahima yi ne omani kron kron. Ye no mene insema. Kachire, kachire Israel for Amen. Amen. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Israel for. When you take your time, you read through Exodus 4, I mean chapter 4 to chapter 12. We see how God through the leadership of Moses, assisted by his brother Aaron, led the people of his brother Aaron, led the people of Israel out of Egypt. It was by the, the, the straight hand of the Lord. It was by the mighty hand of God. As the enemy wouldn't have allowed the Israelites to come to that, that point of realization. The Lord has said something good about you. But then the enemy has kept you in captivity. The Israelites have then been been in uh, Egypt for 430 years. Many thought that nothing good could come out, out of their way. Their great, great, great grandfathers have died and gone. So they have settled in their mind, in their thought that that is where they belong. So they were slaves. No, they were suffering. But some, I believe, many of them, if not all, might have settled in their mind that they belong to Egypt. They never knew that they could become a peculiar people unto the You can also become a peculiar person. Amen. No matter how bad situations have been. No matter how life has fought you. No matter how difficulties you, you I mean how much difficulties you are going through. The Lord God is ever ready to turn you to be a peculiar person. Amen. I ready to put down the new air cradle so that the new one will pass on. And the Bible says, "Oh, you who are not a new one, but new man, you may be a new one. And you may be a new one. Can you hear me? Or do you move to a poco connecti? Let's still aya deni." And so the Bible says that when the Lord was bringing them out, He did so many wonderful, great things. But then still, when they came before the rest, things became so tough. 
And there the Lord showed another mighty side of his. How he swallowed the Egyptians in the Red Sea. Today I don't know what is challenging, what is confronting you. If only you want to be a peculiar person. Unto God. Not unto the world. Not unto any vain thing. Not unto any mundane thing. But you want to be peculiar unto God. No matter how big the race may be before you. No matter how many the enemies that are pursuing you may be. With the grace of God. With the power of God. You can be a peculiar person. You can be a peculiar person. You can be a peculiar person. In that family. We've never seen anybody coming out of limelight. But you can be a peculiar person there. The grace of God will do that. You only have to allow yourself. You only, only you don't have to accept Jesus. And you will see things happening life in your in your, in your uh, I mean life amen i'm going to say no man you know what's the purpose and what problem the bible says let us see god gave them freedom after this you know crossing of the red sea and when they have crossed the red sea they, they uh, went through the wilderness the des desert no one man take a crown a do bosumi me and so pepe pepe pe and we be do be a ya ya ka hua so me refidim and after they journeyed for about three months exactly they go to this place called refidim now refidim one or two three you know and what they copy a sinai desert uh a desert a meso and when they set off from refidim they go to the desert of sinai be a do sinai desert a meso no kire some say wako wako tina a ya bepo a ya sinai bepo no as and the Bible makes us to understand that when they got to the desert of Sinai, they went and uh, dwelt under the uh, rock uh, at the feet of the rock of Sinai. The mountain. Sorry, the mountain of Sinai. And God called Moses to climb up to the mountain. When Moses went before God, the Lord told him, Go and tell the people. I have only two things from them. If only they will be able to do that for me. They will become a peculiar people. They will be so special to me. I pray today that we will also get to know what the Lord will cause of us. I pray today that our eyes be open to know what God wants us to see. Our ears be open to the end of voice of God so that we will be peculiar unto God because when we become peculiar unto God nothing on this earth will be able to withstand us oh praise the Lord hallelujah and the bible says and so the bible says I tell them that if only they are going to obey my voice indeed first to uh, you know obey the voice of God so, but see, I mean, I'm if they would obey the voice of God, you mean, so be be here. this evening somebody is going to obey no the voice of say God. Yes, they they realize that this is so hard. The Lord no one will say, you. Baby, and, you mean, so I know, and get to know that this is so the place that no one will say, we are seeing you yet here. And get to realize that this word does not belong to oh, you. Amen. The Lord is seeking a place to take us to both so of the are So that you will be able to reveal his grace. Greatness. The Lord wants to use you and me. For all other people to see his son. If only you and I go to avail ourselves and obey him. He said, I tell them that if only they are going to obey my voice. Nothing what he said. 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 And keep my, com uh, my covenant. These are the two things the Lord is seeking from us. If only we will obey and be able to keep 
His covenant. Beloved, God is requiring nothing from you. He doesn't need your money. He doesn't need the property of yours. He needs obedience. He needs compliance. If only we are going to do what the Lord has told us. The Lord wants to take us out of this. He wants to take us out of this wicked world. Amen. And take us to that city where nobody will He wants to take us to a place where we will have joy. He wants to take us to a place where we are going to meet great people who have been mentioned in no, 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 This is all that he seeks from us. And if only we are going to obey and keep his covenant. So we are going to do these two things for the Lord. Amen. And he's saying that we will be a peculiar people and ornament unto the Lord. Bible says, the Bible says, now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed. And after some of the city of Mamani Ampa, let us say yet total obedience. That is to say that he needed total obedience. God said, Indeed, if only we will be obedient to his voice. And this is the best city of Mamani Ampa. Then, and then he says, Listen, he says, Is. I say, Nasa. So you see, the, uh, in, in, in the rendering there, there is that word, Is. Uh, and then, Then. And it is always in West Yachana, or can't Nasa. Now, if you are say a when you read the verse five, so okay, catch the moon. Now, the first part of verse five, so okay, catch the moon. Now, if therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, and then the, the uh, second part of the verse five said, then. And then as he said, trust me, you know, say any you shall be a peculiar treasure. So God used the words is and then. And it's a running and copy the sense and form you know say and any any. Meaning nothing goes for free. We have to do something for the Lord. And it, it isn't anything difficult. And yet be so head. And yet you could do to form one. And it's so for us to go and take a home. And yet you could do near be. We are not supposed to uh, fall down. But just obeying the voice of God. And then trying to keep his covenant with us. He says, if only we will fulfill that. Then he will also do his part. And then you may be proud of him. I pray to the Lord. Anything that is not allowing this if to watch Whether it is coming from our own family or from our family or from the enemy. Amen. May the heaven speak for us this Because we've been, I mean, I mean, slave uh, for years, 430 years. We've been slaves in this world. The world has entangled us for long. This is the time for us to get out. This is the time for us to be what God wants us to be. This is the time to get to the top where God earmarked for us. This is the time for us to see the glory of God. If only we obey. If only we keep his covenant. And then you know what you to kiss in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the the student have been put by the yes, 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 yes. The one has oppressed oh, the, 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 the flesh has uh, done so bad. Oh, God. God. The flesh has have oppressed the flesh. Uh, we are going to be peculiar to God. This evening, this season, we are, we are, so, we are so different. We are so different. And we need to exhibit that. Yes, For so our God. God. You know, they, 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 to be happy with us. There are something, I mean, certain lessons we need to take out of this uh, verse. He said, if, 
if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant as simple as that then I the Lord will do the rest that was the same thing the Lord Jesus was on this earth said that we are to seek you def- the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and as for the others it will not be our work and you may already know me no pain no if only we will obey if only we will seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first then all other things will follow you it means we could see that God is demanding of the Israelites total obedience to all that he says. Because obedience in word and then in voice. And I first saw one casemu. But in the city and open it totally. And so he needed total obedience. The Lord was a certain times right. He found right from the time that he chose a people as his nation, he started writing. So at certain time, God will write to us. At certain times, God will speak to us. He wants us to obey totally. Why? Because obedience to God is the Rise to success. And now any boy you try to come and come in When we read Joshua chapter one verse eight. When God was instructing Joshua, there were so many things. There were so many properties the nation Israel that he had then chosen, and they were moving on the desert. We're having. Next up, and now Israel for what you want. I will do a move free. I will do a man. I'm silent. So no, no, I just party. But God did not pinpoint to anything. Next up, I can't say. I'm from the south. Let me be. But what the Lord said to Joshua was that if only you will be able to. It says success. You break you, then you need to pay the price of obedience. So he said this book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then when you do that, if you do that, then you see again, he said, then, for then, thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Amen. Into a catcher say, and my son, Rangu, my own fruit, and no more, 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 so you say for God to tell the, the, the people of Israel or the Israelites that if only you will obey my voice indeed. It is and keep my covenant. It means God was looking for success for these people. And you may this evening the Lord is seeking to make us successful. A highly dear success on earth. A yet a proud one. That is a temple. A dear and come with the beer at that. Amen. And I will soon grow no more. And everlasting prosperity. And when you are ready to show my no pain, no. That is what the Lord is seeking to give. So you may be able to know. If only we are going to obey. So you may be able to know. If only we are going to allow ourselves to be peculiar. And you may be able to know. Then let us obey the Lord. May you be able to know. And if only we obey the Lord. Then it means we are paying a price of success. And if only we obey the Lord. And if only we obey the Lord. So people will meet you and wouldn't understand. How come this brother, this sister? I knew him. He used to be that. He used to be this. Now for Obisa say, I don't know any power to make us say. No, 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 can he say that? No, 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 no. Why you be a wet tear over the name? But then he wouldn't know uh, that you have been somebody who have obeyed the law. No, no, sir. Who you be a? Who do one man and me? Nashadia, pe 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 pe. And he or she wouldn't know that you have given yourself to the commandment of God. I am not the knowledge of man. No, 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 no
hear what the Lord says. No, would this so sheepishly? And if all you are going to follow, and you need to listen, young Safua. Not being men pleasers. And you need to be me a two more semua. For people to accept me. If if nobody knows about you, about me. Yes, I'm poor. If I be a who am I? What's our suffering? Ready to hear two more. And the Lord, I, I please, I please with us. Then, as we obey God. Now say yes, it's him. I'm ready. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Your bomb on this, your bed in a shed, your sewer. And every Jew were to obey his commandment. I see a new one, a new one, a new one, son. I bet, I bet, I bet, see a year, a new one, son. You have come to be a Jojo. Then he says that we shall be prosperous in our ways, and in all our ways shall be success. Again, why is the Lord talking about obedience? No, dear Tina, I think I said for city. And he didn't talk about any other thing. No one can for be for for because out of obedience, I say, it was city. God says is, I mean, obedience. This is better than sacrifice. Out of obedience, a lot of things. Are, is, uh, obedience is a, a, a package with so many things that you cannot count. And that's a totality of obedience has so many things uncountable. And so obedience is better than sacrifice. Sister brother. My sister, my brother. It doesn't matter the office. Even if we give our hands for people to take it off. And we refuse to obey the word of the Lord. Then it would have been better if you were not born at not all. To talk about uh, not to talk about giving our hands to be behaved. And so when you read First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, did for Samuel did not mean worse at all. And the prophet Samuel did not mean worse at all. When he told the king so to obey is better than sacrifice. And so if you and I are seeking something, if you and I are seeking to be peculiar, if you and I want to please the Lord, let's try and obey. Amen. Then we uh, just say, Yabomo de Sibe City. Total obedience. This is a map. And yet, funny from here. Not a passion of being. And yet, you are a cook with not that which we are pleased to do. But what the Lord has said to do. But that is what we need to do. So that we will be peculiar in the sight of God. Amen. 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 We don't want to remain here on earth. Can you the things that are happening? And we are seeing any care. The world is so pleasant. And we are seeing any baby at the Maya. The world has something good for us. We have a certain city we live in. We have an eternal joy awaiting us. Say you bet to me a cohoa. If only we are going to be able to get there. I just say you yeah, nipa ya yeah, yesronko. Yeah, then we need to be peculiar people. Now you bet to me a nipa sronko. If you be able to be peculiar people. I just say you am trafu ya yeah, yes city. Yeah, yeah, I know you want city. Yeah. Yeah, we should be obedient people. And to cry Jesus Christ say. And so our Lord Jesus Christ said. And be bad. The day is coming. Not everyone that say it unto the Lord. To me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven. So you see for anyone to secure the entrance. Into heaven. We need obedience. And you may already face a city a womb on Shemu Yenina Yemu. Amen. This evening may the Lord pour that spirit of I need it, you need it. As I say, see a bro, we are seeing in a mo. Yes, I am your cream one mura. Yanini Penina Mumma Brofoko. Because if we are to labor so hard on this earth, and at the end we are unable to enter heaven, then we are all men the most miserable. May God help us. And what they say, the Lord said, Go and tell the people, if only they will obey my voice indeed. When the Lord speaks, He has spoken already. I mean, subtractions, divisions, multiplication, additions, be a name. 
He has spoken his If word. only they will obey my voice indeed and keep my commandment or covenant. Then I, the Lord, I will never go against my word. I will prosper the words of this word. Then I will make these people a peculiar people unto myself. And the Lord says that all the earth belong uh, to me. So I will only 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 to me only one coin. Send me your pay. And so does the Lord not have the power to distribute or give to every other person what he wants to do? At times some people do not understand and so they tend to have a bitterness concerning Because the Lord loves those he chooses to Jacob. He's the one that said I love Jacob and I hate his Can you fight the Lord? So no matter what you do, the Lord says that you have to do it. And so if only you and I obey, then the Lord created us all though. So those that are totally obedient unto him, he says he's going to make them a peculiar person. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Why obedience? Because obedience is an imperative duty of every human being. And all human beings. We need to be obedient. If only we want to achieve any meaningful thing, even in this world that is passing over. We need to be obedient. And so the Lord said unto Moses, Go and tell the people. If you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall not be ordinary. You shall be fearful. You shall be so special. You shall be peculiar treasure. Not unto any man, but unto I, God Almighty. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. And anything I want to say, anything that is a mystery, anything that has been, I am going to give you the answer. May we be the peculiar people unto God. Amen. That even as the, the world is running, you know, to an end, you will know it, I will know it. We will know what to do. People will not, you know, Cause us to be panicked. No, because we know our left from the right. We know the word of God. We know the one who has promised us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when you look into the Bible, there are so many examples of such people. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 22. There was a Noah. That the Bible says he was so obedient to God. Thus did Noah. According to all that God commanded him, so did he. He was so obedient. Sheepishly. People were laughing at him. People who thought they were so knowledgeable were showing off their knowledge. They were mocking at him. When Russell was building the ark, people, I believe, will surely you know, uh, uh, use him. They thought that he was a joker. But when he said that he was a joker, and so when they start to have fun, they will go to him, mock him, and then have fun and go back home. But when they realized one day, just one day, they didn't know that no one was a peculiar person. Just one day, when the clouds form, there wasn't any sun any longer. Look, there is a 
time coming those who obey the Lord the voice of the Lord indeed and they become peculiar unto God no matter where they find themselves no matter how mocking people may be mocking us today no matter what people will be saying against us a day is coming once you remain peculiar you remain peculiar before they realize we are off into the kingdom amen Oh, into the glorious city. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not by might. It's not by our own power. But because we are obeying the voice of God indeed and keeping his covenant, the Lord will never do otherwise than to make us peculiar people. So we read Genesis 22. Verse 2 to 3. We see again another man who also became peculiar as a result of his obedience. God said, Take your only son. And God did mention the, 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 the name of the son, Isaac, because he could mistakenly go for the other one, Ishmael. And God to the Mount Moriah. And give him to me as a sacrifice. And the verse says early in the morning. He sheepishly obeyed. He took the, the, the son Isaac with him. To go and you know sacrifice him. And God today has made him a friend unto himself. He is peculiar unto God. May we also be peculiar unto God. Amen. In the way we conduct ourselves. Even in a Christian journey that we are embarking on. Uh, uh, to the 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 in the radio G A, ne edu bebi no G A niya. Ya catch it off of Rubia. Niya catch it say yenya ni onyakupong. And so at times some of us tend to forget ourselves that we were wallowing in our sins uh, like uh, mud, and then the Lord mercifully came to deliver us and washed us. And so when we go out there to evangelize to people, we tend to speak to them as if we are God and we are more than them. Abraham. Abraham humbled himself to the Lord and was obedient to him. When you read again in Exodus 36, verse 1 following, even up to chapter 39, no, even up to chapter 40. Exodus uh, 36, chapter uh, 36, 37, 38, up to 40. Okay, can you in chapter 36 verse 1 God told Moses that he has given him a man if he has given him certain men I should say Basil and then uh, Aholiab that everything crafty that they had, they had, they had, uh, Moses had to make these people the Lord has poured the spirit into them and when you take your time and you read on the Bible says they did it according to what God instructed Moses and Moses instructed them they obeyed Moses expressly and therefore their names are written in the book of God here and because they obeyed when you go to Joshua chapter 11 verse 15 
Joshua also obeyed. Joshua, so see, yes, it is. When the Bible uh, you read the Bible, God uh, told uh, Joshua, all that you need is to be strong and be courageous. If only you are able to do that and you obey my voice, this word that I'm putting before you, you obey it day and night. So what to me as I yes, it is, mommy. That's and some of the Emma Utimiti so an apani and a joy. Nobody will be able to stand before you. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. And when you read Joshua 11 15, the Bible says, As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua. And so did Joshua, he left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. Sa na wasi Joshua so na Joshua yene sa na bibia no no maka ya Joshua anya sa ne Moses kan obedience is at work and na city e ya djuma he obey to the latter o ye city e kosi ase na asafo ni anya no ta the lord of hosts never left him i don't know you mean e wo hose beloved the lord is there o pese o nye ni pe bi no wo ye ni pesro nko mo no seeking some people to make them peculiar unto him so me no ya be me ya wo kwaye so we are going to avail ourselves Joseph and Mary became peculiar to God. Joseph and Mary are so bad by yes. Because they listened to the voice of God. You know, when they gave birth to uh, baby Jesus Christ, when you read Luke's account, Luke chapter 2, verses um, uh, uh, 39 and 40, the Bible says they presented the baby in, 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 in the temple as the law of the Lord has commanded. And so the verse 40 says, because of what they did, the child you in all aspects of life. Obedience. So God made your child a peculiar child. Look, God wants to make you and I Peculiar. Amen. And if you and I are going to obey the Lord, suffer Then the Lord of us will So when you read us of the apostles chapter 26, verse 19. It is okay, When Apostle Paul also appeared before the King Agrippa. He made mention. I mean, he made mention to the King Agrippa. The look, when I heard that heavenly call. Oh, I did not disobey. And the same thing he said in Galatians 1 15 16. So today we are saying, Sir Paul, what man tell me? And so today, okay, we say that uh, Paul, who is a uh, who did it come early? It's more than his predecessors. You can be a peculiar person unto God. Be a peculiar person, my Ye, dear one. So that the Lord of us can use you. And let us lay aside our knowledge and wisdom. So what then is the meaning of peculiar? Is to be um, um, be um, peculiar means belonging exclusively to somebody and uh, for that matter to God. So God wants us to belong to Him without sharing, you know, I mean, He sharing us with anybody. But you yeah, yeah, just say, yeah, yeah, Christopher, yeah, yeah, ready, dear, dear. Now, so I feel for being near, ready, near, cheering. But then some of us are Christians, though. But then certain people are sharing the Lord with us. I dream being near, ready, near, cheering. Some folks are sharing us with the Lord. And the only a brother be in near, ready, near, cheering. And some uh, uh, act or attitudes are sharing us with the Lord. I could not be, I could not be. Ah, you am control, I'll be a control, yeah, yeah. And near, ready, near, cheering. A whole temper that cannot be controlled by anybody is sharing us with the Lord. And you may the Lord help us. That will be peculiar unto God. Belonging exclusively to God alone. The God can use us. He can turn us to the right to the left. Without any complaint. And God's grace.
grace will do that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we say somebody is peculiar, that person becomes so special to God. So Moses was peculiar to God. He became a mouthpiece of God. And so I'm not surprised that the Lord said, I will make you a God unto Pharaoh. And indeed, Pharaoh was brought very low before. That is what God wants to make you and I. He wants us to be special. Even in this awkward world. Even in this, you know, ending world. Even in this crooked world. The Lord wants you and I to be peculiar. It is ever difficult that we cannot do. Then you know your people want to know where Abraham, Moses, and Joshua are. We are the number one. If the Lord was able to use the uh, 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 Noah, uh, Moses, and uh, 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 Joshua, Abraham no for him. Where did Abraham come from? He came from a land of idolatry. But he had and he obeyed the voice of God. Once he had not yet seen him, he obeyed him. He obeyed the voice of God that commanded him to go to the place I will show you, which has not uh, which was not yet shown to him. Sheepishly. Or you had to say, drama. And today his descendants are uh, having that land for Amen. May the Lord do it so for you. you so you and I also will be peculiar unto the Lord. Again, being peculiar means being distinctive in character. We will be very distinctive. And so people will sit down to calculate your life and wouldn't get the understanding. In fact, one person would you what you not say? And you wouldn't be able to understand yourself as well. Because and so you are able to say that is that me if uh, it were to be the days of old. That's what BBC. It means that some change has gone. Oh, we are going to be able to The Lord has entered your life. And I do know who my mom for you in your yes. Amen. Many spirit, many spirit put up. Upon all of us. Uh, that you will be a peculiar people. So that if you should appear in the morning, evening, or afternoon, if you seek some people to send them, if you seek some people to interact with them, a lot of us will find you and me. And so he has a how can I hide this thing that I have purpose in my heart? This thing I'm about to do is Sodom and Because Abraham. Became a peculiar person unto him. And so the Lord had me. The Lord was able to reveal his secret to Abraham. The Lord will do the same thing for you and I. Amen. So Abraham was so near, so near to say, "I ready." A man who came ready to be found in Yonko, and then he kept to the Musamadia. If Abraham, that came from a, a family of idolatry, was able to be set apart by the Lord. And and then the Lord was able to share his secrets with you. Then may the Lord do the same for you and me.